What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at South of Eden's Lone Riders. Now I know this lesson is a little bit delayed from when the song actually came out, uh, but I did have a few requests to um, put out a lesson for it. So I'm going to throw out a lesson for this one. Uh, as usual, half of it will be here on YouTube and the other half will be on Patreon. Um, so if you're kind of enjoying what you're seeing here on YouTube, you want to learn the whole thing, including a solo, it'll be on Patreon for you. Um, before we get going, I just want to ask you guys to like and subscribe. Um, we are coming up on our millionth view on the channel. So uh, it's a really, really cool feeling to have had a million views on my channel. So uh, just like and subscribe, comment, you know, all of that. And it really helps out the channel. And, you know, next step is to hopefully get ourselves to 100,000 subscribers eventually. So. Thank you to all of you who have been here so far, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so to start off, um, I'm in standard tuning, half a step down, so E flat standard. So everything's tuned to half step down. Um, I'm using a Marshall JVM amp head with a Marshall 1936 lead cab. I'm going to be using my orange crunch setting, so basically a, a light overdrive, uh, essentially. Um, and I'm using my bridge pickup for this as well to get the brightest tones. Um, so going into the intro, it's actually kind of like uh, Night Train from Guns N' Roses. So. so a similar chord uh, structure and chord sequence as well. So first chord here, it's going to be... 7th fret D string, 9th fret G string, and 8th fret B string. And make sure that E string is muted there, that bottom E string. So, all together. And then while you're doing that, you're going to be kind of picking the A string. And that's going to hold for a minute there. So. next chords here that I'm going into are quite easy. They're just barred, barred chords essentially on a couple strings. So 7th fret barred D, G, B and an open A. And then slide that down 2 frets and then back up, down and then 2nd fret. And then 7th, uh, 5th, 7th, 5th, and then into your A power chord. So all together. And then you go into your A power chord. Now we reach ourselves into the main riff that will uh, lead up to the first verse. So. so essentially, you're just playing that A string and alternating back and forth between 7th fret and 5th fret on the D and G strings. Um, here. So that's one time through. So it goes through six. So one, two, three, five, six. So these last two times here, it changes up the rhythm a little bit. So it's slightly different. You're not playing that open A string continuously. So you kind of hold this first one a little longer, and a quick one on a, a quick stroke on the fifth, and then second fret. So. so it goes through twice, and then the third time when you get back here, you go fifth fret. 4th fret, 2nd fret, and then again, and then A power chord. <laughs> 
So all together, slowly. Three, four. So not too, too difficult here. It's basically a, a one note pattern with two strings. Um, so essentially if you were playing just one string, like that, he's just added another string on top of that to add more power behind it, hence power chord, right? And now we get into our first verse, uh, which we will cover in the next little clip here. Okay, so for this main riff part of the song, the, the verse, um, it's going to be a little tricky timing-wise, but overall, again, it's not too, too difficult for you. So, so we've just come from... And so again, you're going to have this running uh, kind of bass line almost on a guitar with your, your pick on your A string. Like we had in the intro, right? So, except you're here now. So, this, your picking hand is always going to be going. Dun, 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 dun. So, make sure that you're being aware of that when you're playing, because if you're just playing... still sounds good, but there's no drive behind it when you're playing that. So, <clears throat> our first little lick here. So this little, it's essentially an A power chord. And then this little lick where the notes jump around is 3rd fret, e, uh, fret A string, 4th fret A string, 2nd uh, fret D, open G, 4th fret D, 2nd fret D, and then a C chord. So. And then you hold on your C chord for a little bit. So here is more chromatic. So open E, 1st fret E, 2nd fret E, 3rd fret E. 2nd fret A, 3rd fret E, so. And then that leads into your D power chord, which is the next chord in the sequence. So you have your D, which is 2nd fret A string, or 2nd fret G string, 3rd fret B string. And I like playing that from the A string down, except for your bottom E, so. And then. So this little lick is going to be hard if your hands are a bit smaller. Um, you might want to make use of your pinky. So it starts on 5th fret D string, 4th fret D string, and then you hammer on to 5th, pull off back to 4th, and then pull off to 2nd. So 4th, so. That's where we are right now. You go to 4th, 2nd fret D, open D, and then back to your C chord. So, uh, and then after the C chord, it's a similar riff uh, to Actually, it's exactly the same. So, open E, 1st fret E, 2nd fret E, 3rd fret E, 2nd fret A, 3rd fret E, and then back to your A power chord. So that repeats itself twice. So that was one time through. hear what will happen after your second time through. Um, so after this riff, so it's a little bit 
of a different riff and it's sliding around a little bit more. So it'll be a little bit more challenging for some, for some it may be easier. So uh, again, you're still getting back to this A power chord, but then you slide up to third fret A, second fret D, open G, fourth fret D, open D. So. Next, this next little part that I just played is 7th fret, G and, uh, D and G, yes, and then 5th, 6th, 7th, so 7th, 5th, 6th, 7th, so, It's exactly what it was before. And that will lead you back into the verse. Okay, so as I said in the beginning, this will be a two-part lesson. Both parts are on Patreon, first part is on YouTube. Uh, for those of you who are here on YouTube, if you really enjoyed the lesson, you want to learn more, uh, the guitar solo, everything else in the song will be on Patreon. Uh, the link's down in the description box below. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, you know, ask questions if you have any, or, you know, just leave a comment. Um, anything, anything in that regard helps the channel out. So we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers here eventually. I know we're only at 5.37, but, you know, we're building. So it's, it's slowly getting up there. Um, but yes, thank you to those of you who are watching the video. I hope the lesson helped. And if you're just sticking on YouTube, until next time, keep on rocking.